In this video, we will see how to add a new beneficiary to your ERD center. Usually, any beneficiary at an ERD center would be coming either from ICTC or it will be coming from any other ERD center through a transfer out process. But there could be a scenario where a beneficiary visits your uh, ERD center from other I ICTCs but as of now the ICTC has not entered the information in the system and hence you would like to add a beneficiary. So for doing that click on the beneficiary tab and on the left hand side you will see the add beneficiary option. When you click on this add beneficiary option you will see the empty profile opening up and this is where you have to add the details of the beneficiary. Certain fields are important which are marked with red X. So make sure you always enter those information. If you enter age, the birth date and the category will get automatically populated. Phone number is tricky. State and district is to be filled in as well. And for this you will have to also add the HIV test type and the PI test. These are mandatory fields. These things can be easily uh, received from the ICTC report which the beneficiary brings in. And once you have entered the basic information, you would see a green tick showing up over here, which means all the mandatory fields have been added in the profile. Next, you will have to add a pre ERT number, and the status will be prepared in accounting by default. But in case you want to change it, you can also update it from here. Adding ERT number at the time of registration is not mandatory, but if the beneficiary gets initiated on ERT on the same day, you can also add the ERT number and then the required status can be picked in from the list. Date of registration can also be updated. You can go for a backdated registration and accordingly eligibility or date of start of ERT date can also be added in the system. After filling in this mandatory field, the section others information and family, these are not mandatory. In case you have information, you can fill it up or you can just keep it as it is. And once you have filled all these mandatory information, you will just save it and the beneficiary name gets added over here on top. You can also click on this UID and see the basic profile information highlighted over here on the right hand side. In case you want to go and edit any of the information over here, you will have to just click on this action button, select the edit option and update any of the details over here. 